Hello dear students, welcome back. In the today's video lecture, I am going to discuss about the one of the interesting topic of the physics that is the radiation. I am Nagraj Gudsi, physics lecturer, SVS College, Harugiri. So in the class 11, you may already studied about the heat transfer. Heat is going to be transferred in the three methods. One is by the conduction by the convection and other is a radiation in the three methods the heat is transferred conduction convection and radiation okay let us see one by one what is the conduction especially we have to say it as a thermal conduction and the thermal conduction is the transfer of the heat energy by a microscopic collision of the particles and movement of the electron within a body. Consider one a body. Okay, in this body, the heat is going to be transferred in this way by the microscopic collision of the particles. Here, there are the n number of the particles. These number of the particles get collided with each other. Then the heat is going to be transferred from one place to the other place. Right. Let us see. Here, I am going to take a one example. I have considered one a metal rod. It is a good conductor, right? At the one end of the metal rod, I am going to heat it. So, what is going to happen when we heat? The heat is going to be transferred throughout the conductor. If you hold at this end, so you will feel the heat because the heat is transferred from one end to the other end by the conduction. So, how this conduction takes place? Usually, metal is consist of a number of particles. So, when you heat at the one end, then the particle within this metal starts vibrating. Okay, and it collides with the another molecule. In this way, the heat is flowing from one end to the other end okay so uh, just we have to see that how the heat will conduct already i have shown uh, this one is a metal bar okay the one end of the metal bar is heating okay when when the one end of the metal bar is heating what is going to happen due to the heat the molecule gets the kinetic energy and these molecules get the kinetic energy means the average kinetic energy increases as the molecule collide with the neighboring molecule as the molecule collide with the neighboring molecule having a less kinetic energy the energy is shared between these two group right and the molecule collide with the neighboring molecule they transfer the energy to them this way heat is passed along the rod from the molecule to molecule the average position of the molecule does not change means the position of the molecule average position of the molecule is does not change means uh, it is only vibrating it means the molecule is not moving from one end to the another end it is colliding with the other molecule so the kinetic energy which is transferring to the other molecule so in this way the heat is going to be transferred and Hence, there is no mass movement of the matter in the conduction process. Okay. And next one is a convection. What is that convection? In the convection, the heat is transferred from one place to the other by the actual motion of the heated material. See, the difference between the convection and the conduction. In the conduction, in the conduction, uh, actually molecule does not move from one end to the other end. It is only vibrating, means the average position of the molecule is remains same. It does not change. But in the convection, when you heat at the one end, those molecules move to the other end. In the convection, the heat is going to be transferred in this way. 
so there is a actual motion of the heated material and in uh, usually the conduction is observed in the metals or in the specially solids but the convection usually observed in the gases liquid let us see here the convection involves the actual movement of the particles as i have said to the carry the thermal energy liquid and gases are the poor conductors of the heat but because their particles are free to move from one place to the other can transfer the thermal energy by the convection here i have taken one example this is a one vessel in this vessel it is filled with the water okay then uh, i am going to heat at the bottom it gets the heat due to the conduction means the water is gets heat through the conduction from the bottom and the water molecules in the bottom uh, the water molecules density decreases consequently when the heat is increases and these molecules rises up thus the heat molecule carried from bottom to the top by the actual movement of the part of the water so here when we are by the heat at this and heat okay and uh, these water molecules density is going to be decreases and it moves up and the which molecule having the high water, uh, high density those molecules come down okay means the water above the heat source becomes warmer expands and rises as it becomes a less dense the cooler more dense water sinks to the bottom of the beaker it is then heated so in this way the convection process is going to be takes place can we see the convection in the liquid of course yes when you are heating the water you can observe that uh, the convection process and next one is a radiation it is the process of the transmission of the heat from one place to the other without the add of the any intervening medium in the conduction and in the convection there is a medium that may be solid in the convection that may be liquid or gases because there are the free molecules but in the radiation in a vacuum also the heat is going to be transferred from one place to the other place there is no intervening medium okay and the uh, sun is the natural example for the radiation and other artificial um, sources are electric lamp electric heater this will emit the radiation and here sun is travel uh, sorry energy is travel to us from the sun in the form of the electromagnetic radiation these wave can travel through the vacuum of the space all right and thermal radiation includes the invisible infrared waves as well as the visible light okay this one is a, a picture of some animal uh, maybe probably it is a bear and the thermal image of this animal so even the animals also emitting the radiation it means even all the objects give some give out some thermal radiation uh, we cannot observe through the our naked eyes but with the help of some advanced cameras we can observe these radiations okay warm object give out the infrared radiation as the objects become hotter so as to give out a shorter wavelength such as a light this way hot object such as a grills glow as they continue to heat up
ரேடியேஷன் ஓகே இந்த த ரேடியேஷன் த எக்ஸ்பிரிமெண்டல் ஸ்டடீஸ் ஆன் த ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் கன்க்ளூடட் தட் த தெர்மல் ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் த எலக்ட்ரோமேக்னெட்டிக் ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் தீஸ் ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் ஆக்கர் இன் அ இன்ஃப்ராரெட் ரீஜன் ஆஃப் த எலக்ட்ரோமேக்னெட்டிக் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் யூஸ்வலி திஸ் ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் இஸ் ஆக்கர்ஸ் இன் த ரீஜன் ஆஃப் தி இன்ஃப்ராரெட் ரீஜன் ஆஃப் தட் எலக்ட்ரோமேக்னெட்டிக் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் ஹியர் ஐ ஹாவ் ஷோட் ஆக்சுவலி திஸ் இமேஜ் இஸ் நாட் கிளியர் ஸோ திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் இன்ஃப்ராரெட் ரீஜன் ஜஸ்ட் யூ ஹவ் டு அப்சர்வ் தட் திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் அ ரெட் போர்ஷன் ஓகே மீன்ஸ் த ரேடியேஷன் இஸ் ஆக்ரர்ஸ் இன் த இன்ஃப்ராரெட் ரீஜன் இஸ் மோர் இட் இஸ் அ சிமிலர் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி லைக் அ லைட் பட் கான்ட் சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி சைட் இட் மீன்ஸ் வென் த லைட் இஸ் ஃபால்ஸ் ஆன் த எனி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இட் மேக்ஸ் அஸ் டு எக்ஸைட் டு சென்ஸ் ஓகே பட் வென் த ரேடியேஷன் இஸ் ஃபால்ஸ் ஆன் தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் வி கெனாட் சி இட் வி கெனாட் சி தட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் மீன்ஸ் we can't sense the sight then what are the properties of the thermal radiations it will travel through vacuum with the velocity of the light as i have said it is a electromagnetic radiation so it will travel with the velocity of the light and it obeys the law of the rectilinear propagation means it is satisfying it is similar like a light means it obeys the law of the rectilinear propagation and it undergoes the reflection as well as the interference diffraction and polarization and this thermal radiation is converts into heat when the body is absorb it okay so until we can't feel the heat for example this one is a body okay and thermal radiations coming from the sun is going to be incident on this body when it is converted into heat when this body will absorb these radiations otherwise the heat is going to not heat is not going to be converted okay and when any thermal radiation is incident on the surface a part of the total radiation is absorbed another part is reflected and the remaining part is transmitted here there is one surface and the radiation is incident on the surface the uh, amount of the radiation is going to be absorbed here and remaining is get reflected and some of the radiation is get transmitted okay and uh, in the mathematically we can show it as a r is equal r plus t plus a is equal to 1 means r is the reflection coefficient and uh, uh, t is the transmission coefficient a is the absorption coefficient and a black body after absorbing the incident radiations get heated and starts emitting the radiations of the all possible wavelength the total amount of the thermal energy radiated by the body depends upon the uh, these three one is the surface area how much surface area is there depends upon that the thermal energy radiated by the body and it's a temperature the temperature of that body and the nature of the emitting surface okay the thermal radiation is incident on the surface is absorbed by part of the incident energy okay so here this one is a one surface and the thermal radiation is are incident on this surface and the amount of radiation is absorbed by this body is depends upon the the nature of the surface and this uh, surface area and the temperature a body which absorb all the radiations incident on it is called the perfectly black body okay. perfectly black body means this one is a body the radiations incident on it on that body will all the radiations is going to be absorbed that by the that body okay so those type of body we have to call it as a perfectly black body emissive power emissive power of the body 
at a given temperature is the quantity of the radiant energy emitted by the body per unit time per surface area of the body at that temperature here i have considered one body and this body is emitting the radiations and the emissive power of this body is we have to calculate like at a given temperature the quantity of the radiant energy emitted by the body per unit time per unit surface area at a that a temperature mathematically we have to denote it as a e is equal to q divided by a t here q is the radiant energy that is nothing but a heat divided by a is the surface area and t is the actually this one is a time okay next one is a absorptive power absorptive power of the surface is the ratio of the thermal radiation absorbed by it in a given time to the total thermal radiation incident on it the same time here the absorptive power it is the ratio of the that thermal radiation is absorbed at a given time the thermal radiations is incident at the same time also okay this is nothing but a absorptive power of that body so mathematically we can denote it as a, a is equal to energy absorbed divided by energy incident on that body and black body is a unity means that is a one and it is a absorptive power is a dimensionless quantity okay thank you